Hello, thanks for joining the Vipianis Podcast. All we talk about here is entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. So join us here every Friday and I'll be here to give you the juice. We have lots of entertaining topics to talk about today. But just before we begin, let us listen to this beautiful song by Maggie. I'll be right back you after the break. break, 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 break. You watch when I walk, please be kind. You'll be home, but I'm sleeping tonight in your heart. As I'm breathing this last time, breathing this last time. Mm-hmm. I can breathe, I can breathe. Can you hear me? Oh. Welcome back. Now, that was a very beautiful piece from Maggie titled, I Can't Breathe. You know, when life pushes us down, it's time for us to say, we will live. We will move on. You know, it's the podcast with Vic Piano and right away we talk about entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. So right away we'll have a list of trending Afrobeat songs current in Nigeria. We'll go by the first to the last um not actually an exhausted or exhaustive list but um we're gonna list according to a pie we have from uh Bumpley. so we have guagwala david kizdane with your guy uh, we have as and 230 by asha care few by david o unavailable musa kiss by david o cough by kizdane share peru by kizdane away by david o pray be an excellent over them David O. I'm a piano fit Olamide Ashake. No competition fit Ashake. David O. Carry me. Go. Fit Boy Spice. Kahit. Now, you can go stream then on all music platforms. Remember, thank God it's Friday. So it's time to have some fun. You know, it's time to have some fun. So, right away, we'll go straight to the next item on our list, which is we have to talk about what is happening to the eastern brothers on our international music scene what is happening to the eastern brothers on the international music scene now this was an argument made by someone
a cover by Victor you know um, it's a popular song and that was a cover by Victor so right away to our topic I talked about it why are our Eastern brothers missing in the international music scene now the complainant or the person who made this assertion or who made this revelation is called Chukuman Diogo official. So you go check him out in case you want to uh, know, greet him or you want to call him. And he said, I quote, I hope you've read this post without tagging me a jealous person. I am an evil man before becoming a Nigerian. I wouldn't be happy if evil people are not doing well in their feed where others are doing well. I've watched Bonaboy perform at the famous Coachella. I've watched Kiss Daniel perform at the famous World Cup and David Doe at World 2. Whiskey has performed at the famous NBA final. Tiwa Savage at the coronation of King of England. Please, where are my Igbo music artists? Peace Quest seems to be the most famous Igbo music artist then and now, but I can't remember any world events where they were invited to perform. They still look at champions together with the all Igbo music stars. Only extraordinary achievements they have recorded in their career is hosting concerts overseas. But for them to be booked to perform in an A-list world event seems to be beyond their level. What is happening? So that is the question. What is happening? What is your thought? Now I'm going to read some kind of um, some comments which the users have dropped um, previously. Um, someone said, Rock Hard said, I think there's some kind of swag or something extra that the Yoruba language adds to music content that might be difficult to replicate. Take Asake for example, he sings in Yoruba just the same way Flavor sings in Igbo language, but Asake's brand is more appealing internationally because of that Yoruba swag. Maybe Flavor should start adding Yoruba to his music so he can also enjoy some of that crossover appeal. Just saying. So I'm going to read some other comments made by new users. Someone said, and the solutions he commented and he said following trends is the problem of most artists from the eastern region afrobeat is not an evil tune so they can never vibe well in it the evil music has a faster pace than the afrobeat and if they want to play afrobeat they have to step the pace but if they do this it might not be considered afrobeat so they need to do what they are known for now i'm going to read the last comment uh out of tons, tens, and hundreds of comments, I'm just going to take this at the last one. And he said, uh, "This is uh, this is by Napepo. He said, naturalism could kill now for this country." In quotes. And other several comments. Some persons were blush, bashing him. Some persons were supporting him. Some persons were indifferent. But well, what do you think? Do you think he is right in saying that the Igbo musicians are missing in the international scene? Well. Uh, I don't know but i think uh, it's a win for everybody and so far some of these music and um, evil musicians have paved way for the rest musicians and they have actually done good in their part so all right my own personal opinion is now is not the time for comparison it's the time to work more and be united united we stand and together we can do things and we can achieve great things but let me hear your thoughts what do you think about this assertion where are our evil extend brothers in the international music scene? Bonaboy is trending right now. Bonaboy wins Best Awards, Best International Act for Record, fourth time. Wow, 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 wow. Congratulations, Nigerian superstar musician Damini Ogulu, popularly known as Bonaboy, has won the award for Best International Act at the Black Entertainment at Awards Bet 2023, held on Sunday night in Los Angeles. United States of America, Bonner Boy, beat compatriot Aya Star, Aya Nakamaru, Central Sea, Elamai, Kiu, 
Stormzy, Tycola, and Uncle Waffle, so a major winner in this category. The Nigerian singer who has had amazing last couple years was not present at the show, but the Ghanaian Liberian actor Mikey Blackson received the award on his behalf. With his victory, Bernard Boy extended his record as the most awarded person in the Best Awards Best International Act category four times in a row. Wow, Bonaboy won the award for three consecutive years, 2019, 2020, 2021, since the creation of the Bet Award, Best International Act in 2018. This category has been exclusively won by Nigerians, with David O being the median winner. Then won the Best International Act last year. Wow, this is a very good news for Bonaboy and very good news for Afbeat at large. What are your thoughts? about this so what are you going to say are you going to say kudos it's a good big congratulations yeah, to all, 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 all you know they dig my colleague and you know, all but i've been fighting for so long for you So right away we're going to be talking about something very very crucial. Now what music genre is capable of uniting all Nigerians from all parts of Nigeria? I'm going to say what music genre is capable of uniting all Nigerians from all parts of Nigeria? So apart from Afrobeat and gospel music, I would like to know What's that one music genre from Nigeria that's not popular but yet capable of uniting all Nigerians from all parts of Nigeria, despite them being from different tribes in South Africa? I would love, I would have to say it's Guiju music genre. The name originates from the Sosa culture and it involves collective singing. It has now spread throughout all South African cultures to a point that you find people singing this genre of music and celebrations, funeral school, workplaces and other community gatherings. It doesn't matter the tribe you're from. It's capable of uniting family, friends, schoolmates, colleagues, community members and etc. Some of us grew up singing this genre of music but we just didn't know the actual name for it. So I'd like to know which Nigerian music genre is capable of uniting Nigerians apart from Afrobeats and gospel music here yeah, gossip so apart from Afrobeats and gospel music i'll give you a few you can check do you want to say reggae do you want to say hip-hop do you want to say uh jazz do you want to say blues do you want to say uh new soul R&B, trap do you what music genre that's not popular of course those genres already are popular so let me see your comments there and we'll have this as our last conversation for today, right after, after the break. If you can say, let me know, let me know, like no day. This is your love by Mazero. That was a beautiful piece of music and it's time to wrap up the show it's time to wrap up the show and we'll be wrapping up with this topic 
would say is five ways to hype your next release now this is very important for musical artists producers and those in the entertainment industry so it says number one take your time which is drip feed into you and drip feed info and teasers rather than bombard fans the day before the next release which means take your time if you're going to release in in month time you know take it 30 days before then you know drop some teasers you know some previews you know some fun things happening in the studio for your audience just before that day so that they get ready update everything this is number two tip number two update everything update your media your website your fan link your story highlight should be updated with your next project info number three tease your audience create a countdown on all social media streams to keep the hype rolling review more as the days get closer number four share your shares every time someone shares your content share it on your stories too reply to all your comments and fully connect with your fans and number five you want your release to go viral make it fun create a hashtag for it to create a reel or tiktok meme that uses your sound and lastly host a release day listening party with other musicians and your big fans now for our episode two of the music podcast or the podcast of the piano we'll be going details i will go details into these tips and go in details to discuss further on these tips on how to release five ways to hype your next release so this is it i'm going to end here i hope you had a nice time i had a nice time with you so join me every friday i'm here for you to give you the vibes and the entertainment to give it the juice you know it's the podcast with Vic Piano. So, well, the Vic Piano's podcast, any of it can go. So, it's been a lovely time. I'll leave you to enjoy. If you love the cavemen, I'll leave you to enjoy this cavey kind of music, which is titled Suck, Suck, Suck. Because of you, I will 